Happy Sunday, everyone. I hope everyone had a Clarks weekend. Big wrap up of the six week collective cup. Um, obviously, Friday was a good bit of crack. We'd so many people in the gym. <clears throat> Turned out to be a huge, huge success. A um, lot of meters covered by each and every group. So fair play to everyone for getting in and just fair play to everyone for their for their efforts over the six weeks. Um, it's great to see that community and that push and people making new friends and making new connections and, you know, just in general having a good time and just pushing themselves slightly outside their comfort zone. So deadly well done to everyone. Now the sites are going to be set on our next event or next big competition. Um, and we'll be sending out some emails about that over the next few weeks to so keep an eye on them. In terms of our program for this week, we're going to start off. We have a member's choice workout on Monday. Member of choice this week is Brona Hughes. Well done, Brona. Workout we're going to do is called Let's Get Huge, brackets S, LOL. So we have to complete 15 rounds, uh, five handstand push-ups, 100 meter run, 10 clean and jerks, 100 meter run, 30 seconds of rest. So you just get through the 15 rounds the best, best you can. Yeah, obviously before that, we're going to do some skill work like we always do on these days. We're just going to spend a bit of time on the handstand push-up, kind of breaking up into groups. Um, I'm trying to just develop that with a coach. Tuesday then we're going to do some box squats. Volume is down again. Percentage is up. 6 by 3, 85%. Workout then after that is quarterfinals workout number one. I've actually done this myself. Um, thought it was a very well programmed workout um, and sneaky, sneaky hard. Obviously depending on how you, you attack it and depending on the amount that you push um, kind of dictates how hard it will feel. You kind of have your own ability to choose how much to do with this one. So you have four rounds to complete for total reps. It's kind of like a fight gone bad style workout. One minute of max barbell snatch from the floor, one minute of max calorie row, one minute of max dumbbell step ups, and one minute max rest. So you go through that four times for max repetitions. Um, yeah, having done that, the, the accumulation of everything just starts to catch up with you on the dumbbell step ups, you know. You're looking at the dumbbell step ups thinking, oh, that might be a bit of a break, but in actual fact, that gets very, very grindy. Particularly, you know, you're kind of using your grip on the barbell, you're using your grip on the rower, the grip gets very, very taxing then on the dumbbell. And also your legs are a little bit fried, your heart rate's up. So I actually really enjoyed that workout. Um, Yeah, and looking forward, probably looking forward to attacking that one the most again this week out of all of Anyway, Wednesday, we're looking at a repeat high rocks workout, HX4. So it is a partner one. Um, I remember this being a very, very ex like extremely difficult one for a lot of people that did it. Um, so just get through as many rounds as you can. There is uh, there is a total of 16 rounds to complete. Now, not a lot of people finished this the last time, but again, you're still going to get through as much of this as possible. So a couple of rounds of runs together and then synchro farmers carry, some rounds of skiing and then some synchro lunges, some rounds of runs together and some synchro burpees. And then finish off some rounds of skiing and synchro wall balls. So if you can get to the synchro wall balls, um, that is a good accomplishment in, accomplishment in and of itself. And following that on Thursday, we have a push press complex. So we're back to five reps for the middle um, for the push press. So that's the same as we did in week one. Ideally, being progressive now means heavier than week one. Following that, then, it is uh, an aerobic power workout. So it's a 15-minute workout. Um it's going to be alternating from A to B. Um, we're going to start off on A with nine or seven cows on the bike, then max burpees. And then following that, B is nine or seven cows on the bike, following max dumbbell clean and jerk. Um, so, yeah, we have some targets there for you between anywhere from good to elite. To get 48 reps, you'd be in that good category. Uh, to be in the great category, you'd be getting 60 reps. To be in the amazing category, you're getting 80 repetitions get into the elite category it's over 100 repetitions so a bit of a spicy one you know you kind of having to hammer hammer the bike to give yourself as much time on the burpees clean and jerks and then you know you obviously rest in in between in between rounds um sorry that one there is actually a 16 minute workout not 15. following that then on friday we're just going to finish off with some cleans hang squat clean again Pretty much the same rep we did week one again. Being progressive is going a little bit heavier. So set of three for your most important set of the day. Nine sets total. Build up to a heavy set of three and then work your way back down and deload weight till you get to five again. And then your workout after that. Um, kind of 
looks like a chipper on paper, but if you get through all of this work, you do go back to the start. So it is an AMRAP. So it's 40 repetitions of air squats, calorie row, and sit-ups. It's then 30 repetitions of back squats, calorie row, and sit-ups. It's then 20 repetitions of back rack lunges, calorie row, and sit-ups. So there's a couple of different variations of your squat pattern there. Calorie row obviously comes down, sit-ups come down, but um, then movements don't actually change. Um, yeah, that's your workout and your program for the week. Um, again, we're going to be doing uh, two more weeks of members' choice workout after this week. So I've been saying if you want to get your feedback in, you know, even if even if we haven't shortlisted you between the coaches, you can still come up and let us know what you would like to see in the program. We we do um take any and all feedback on board and try and incorporate as best you the best we can. So if you have any um any input or feedback you want to give us, um just give us a shout and we'll see what we can do. Enjoy your weekend, gang.